Hello YouTube, it's your girl Chris and I'm here once again to make another video and this video is going to be about my reflections on my first month of my focus journey. So basically before I really get into it, I'm going to explain my focus journey. So I feel like, you know, all these years that are passing us by, you know, we have goals that we want to fulfill but we're always getting like, you know, unfocused or we're like not really putting enough efforts into the goals that we need to achieve or the goals that we set out for ourselves. So for this year, 2015, I was like, you know what? This is going to be my year of focus. And I'm going to name this journey Focus Journey. So I didn't just want to say like my journey or something like cliche or whatever. So I just named it Focus Journey. And um, usually I have my handy dandy YouTube notebook. But today for this video, I'm doing something a little bit different. And I'm using my Focus Journey notebook. And I'm going to show you guys because it's kind of cute. So basically, as you see, it's um basically motivation, uh, motivational people that I see, motivational quotes. Um, see focus here. That's the name of my um you know, name of my journey. Um, if you also notice, if you also look, you also see myself because I did lose weight once upon a time. So I have to remember that you know it is attainable because I did it before. And if you notice the turtle, the turtle symbolizes slow but steady wins the race. So it's not all about speed or who can lose the, like the most weight the fastest, even though I would like to lose weight as fast as I can, but it's just saying slow and steady loses the weight. And, um, one thing that I like, this quote that I like, it says, everyone wants to be successful until they see what it takes. So basically whatever your goal is, it's not going to be easy. That's why it's a goal. You know what I'm saying? So it's like. People, everybody says, okay, they want to lose weight. Oh, I want to lose 50 pounds. I want to do this. But it's not easy at all. It's really a mental game more than physical game. So I said that to say that until people see what it looks like, then that's what they're like, okay, I don't want to do it. So that's why I put that um, everyone wants to be successful until they see what it takes. Um, yeah, so it's a really good notebook. I, I loved it. Like, I actually took time and um, put it together. Like, it's really nice. Okay, so let's go into my handy dandy focus journey notebook. And okay, so I'm gonna explain. And if wait, if you guys notice my attire, I'm dressed in all black because I don't know if you guys heard the saying saying like um um every time I go to the gym, it's a funeral for the fat. So basically, it's a funeral right now. We're here to discuss the funeral of the fat that I lost. You know, this is a this is a. I want to say sad, not sad. This is a happy moment, but sad moment for the fact that's on my body because I did kill some this month. If you're noticing why I wore all black or whatever. So, um, basically, let me explain my background. Um, in high school, I was a four sport athlete. I did volleyball, softball, basketball, and track and field. I love sports. I was always active. Um, I really didn't worry about my weight too much. I mean, I did like, oh, I'm gonna go work out, or oh, let me eat healthy, but not as focused out as I am now. And I feel like I didn't really need to because I was in my mom's house and eating her home cooked meals, which are not. You know, not unhealthy because if you guys don't know, I'm Nigerian and you know, we just cook with a lot of healthy stuff or it depends on how you put it together for all my Nigerians out there. But um, basically cook with a lot of organic or healthy stuff. So basically I didn't really gain any weight from her food. Plus I was in sports. So any weight that was probably trying to accumulate, the sports were killing it off. So freshman year of college, I was like, you know, this is cool. All this American food. I see burgers. I see fries. I see pizza. Oh my God. Like I'm not used to this. One doesn't make this. Like I don't know. So I went great. Cray. I went crazy in the cafeteria. And it wasn't like it was, the food was all that, you know, good and yummy. But I don't know. I just, I just overate. Like I don't know. So you know how people, they call it the freshman 15. I did not gain the freshman 15. I gained the freshman 20 or 25. I think I gained the freshman 25. So it put me at a place where I have never been before. I never, I was not used to seeing myself that big. My cheeks were like, whoosh, like it was just crazy. I was not used to that. And I became sad. I'm like, you know, this is not how I looked in high school. I was summertime fine all the time. And look at me now. Like, I mean, I was still cute. Don't get me wrong, but it's not where I saw myself as. So in the summer, um, May 9th, that's my fitness, uh, my fitness day, basically the day that I decided like, okay, Krista, you need to make a change for yourself. So May 9th, I got back from school and I was like, you know what, this, this, I can't do this. I don't feel comfortable like this. 
this is not how I am. So basically, I changed the way I was thinking. Therefore, I changed the, the food I was eating. I started working out more. And basically, over the summer, I lost 20 pounds. So 20 pounds, for me, it did a lot for me. People were like, wow, Crystal, you look so different. Oh, my God, how did you do this? And I was feeling myself. I'm like, you know, I lost 20 pounds, this, that, and the other. But for me, I feel like it was easier for me to lose those 20 pounds because, like, I was in summer. I took summer classes, but I didn't have as much. I think I took, no, I took two classes. So it wasn't as much I had work. So basically, it wasn't that much on my plate. So it was, it was easier to lose the weight in the summer. So, due to stress, classes, laziness, you know, I basically gained the 20 pounds back. I know. that's. I feel like that's so disrespectful to myself. Like, how could you work so hard? Just working out every day, putting all your efforts, doing all this extra stuff, and you gain the weight back. It's just like, oh my God. But the thing is that, I don't know. It's just, it just really sucks or whatever. Um, after I gained the weight, I became content w where I was. So after I gained the 20 pounds back, I was like, you know what? Maybe I was just meant to be juicy. You know, Crystal, you, you still cute. You still cute. You mean, you, I mean, you might be fine, smaller, you know what I'm saying? But you still cute. Shoot. You know what I'm saying? Like I still had the confidence, but I was like, okay, this is still not where I want to be, but you know, I'm content where I am. And then, um, I just, I was just comfortable with being juicy. That's what I call it. I was comfortable with being juicy. So, yeah, just being comfortable with being juicy. And then, um, what made me realize that I needed to lose weight was when I was working the rover position. So, for you guys that don't know what the rover position is for a campus housing job. And basically, you just have to search a section or different flo floors for a campus housing building. So, um, usually when I was like uh, searching, or when I was going through the uh, floors or whatever, like I had to climb two floors or two flights of stairs. And literally, when I got out of the um, staircase, it was so hard for me to catch my breath. Literally, I'm. <sighs> Like, it was crazy. And, like, you guys have to understand my mentality. Like I said, I was a four-sport athlete, so I did a whole bunch of running. Those stairs should have ne never even made an impression on how I was feeling. So, the fact that I'm, <gasps> it's just crazy. So, I was like, you know, Chris, this is not healthy for you. On you, I mean, you, you're content on being who you are, on, on how you look. But what's going on inside is not good at all. Like, you need to do something. So, that's when I was like, you know what? There needs to be a change. So... I'm going to discuss my workouts, my food, and how much I lost. So my folk, my um, workouts, basically, I didn't go to the gym as much, but I did control the way I ate a lot. But when I was at the gym, I would do 30 minutes to 45 minutes of cardio, and then I would do um, 20 to 30 minutes of body weight exercises slash ab exercises. And then I'll do 30 minutes of the focused um, muscle group for that day. So basically, I made sure that I did my cardio because in order to, you know, lose your fat or lose the extra weight on you, you have to do cardio. You have to do cardio. And before, and wait, wait, before I start explaining my methods, I am not a nutritionist. I do not have any certificate on what I should be telling to other people. But I'm telling you the stuff that worked for me. And clearly, I'm doing something right because it worked. So... Before I get comments saying like, oh, you're not a nutritionist. This is not right. But this is what worked for me. So uh, I made sure I did my cardio and I made sure I got 30 minutes to 45 minutes of cardio because I really needed to like, you know, burn the fat, lose the fat. Um, yeah. So then the next, like I said, I'll go into like body weight exercises slash abs and though i'm like though i'm at the point in my focus journey that it's like okay even though, even if i work on abs or if i don't work on abs if you're not still you're still not going to see it because in order to see the abs you have to shed the fat that are on top of the abs if that makes sense so it's like whether i do my ab work or not you're not going to see it but then i was working out with somebody um if she watches this video her name is ifrike king and i remember her telling me that um 
that though you're not it's not going to be seen you still have to you know build the muscle there like because you know if you don't work it the work the muscles are not being worked as much and it's not going to be as strong as it could be so when you're working the muscles you're going to gain more muscles in your stomach or make them stronger and when you're making them stronger and gaining more muscles in your stomach you're going to lose fat because muscle burns fat so i was like true you smart girl you smart that is right so basically i made it a point in contact to basically try to work um, my abs as much as I could um, every day or whatever with my workouts and then after that I would do um, after that I'll do the focus area for that group but it's like you know how you guys always have like your areas like the areas that you want to lose or the areas that you need to lose or the one that you just the one that sticks out to you the most so for example you know my back um, my arms mainly my back goes. so let's just dwell on back so I'll make sure that I'll do some type of I'll make sure that I do some type of back exercise every day just to make sure like you know it's being touched that something is working and I know you're not supposed to work um, the same muscle every day but I wouldn't do a lot every day like I'll just make sure I do like one one machine or one you know simple exercise to work the back just to make sure things are rolling because you need to go and it is going um the food that I ate when I say I know you guys heard the saying that losing weight is 80% nutrition and 20% gym. When I say that is completely true, it's completely true. Like I said before, when I was discussing my workouts, I didn't go to the gym as, as much as I should have. I, every, wait, every workout that I did go, or every time I went to the gym, I did go really hard. I did go really hard at my own workout. And just to bring it back, like when you're done from the gym, you're not supposed to look cute. You know what I'm saying? Like you're supposed to be sweaty, tired, back supposed to be aching. You know, you're supposed to be tired. Don't leave the gym feeling like, okay, I can still feel like I can run a marathon. Like, no, you're supposed to be tired. You're supposed to work yourself because if you're not working yourself, no results are going to come or not the ones that you like or as fast as you want it. So basically to do long food, I ate really healthy. I ate really, really healthy. Um, in the morning, like to give you an example, I'll probably eat, if I have time, I'll eat oatmeal with bananas, no sugar, and no milk. I'll use water for oatmeal and no sugar, and the banana is my natural sugar. For lunch, I'll probably have some brown rice, um, lean meat, which is like fish, shrimp, um, chicken with some vegetables so the plate distribution on that is supposed to be 50% vegetables 25% starch and uh 25% lean meat and then for dinner I'll try to eat lean meat with vegetables and not have any carbs so yeah so basically that was working for me and then I was just like talk to my friend Nay I call her my fitness sister I'll discuss her later in the video and um Basically, she does not like carbs. She does not like bread. So I was like, you know, let me try to cut carbs out of my lunch. And when I say I cut it off, you guys, and I saw like a lot of good results, even though, you know, I try, even though like, okay, so it's not bad to eat carbs, but you know, carbs stick to your stomach. You know, so I try to eat as less or as small as I can with the carbs or whatever. So basically, I just saw a lot of like good results or faster results without eating carbs for my lunch. And I tend to do it every day now, but if I have some rice that's already made, best believe I'm putting it on my plate and I'm going to eat it. But since it's not made and it's like, okay, I'm just not going to eat no carbs. So, and I'll eat that. So basically, I just eat that very healthy. Um, you, you can have a cheat for me. I... I made myself available to have like a cheat meal every week, once a week, one meal a week. But I usually did not take the cheat meal or if I did take the cheat meal, I'll get something like that is really healthy or something like something that's healthy, but something that I wouldn't eat. Like for example, I'll go to Chipotle and Chipotle, everybody knows Chipotle is super fine. And if you guys do not like Chipotle, shame on y'all. But I will go to Chipotle, I'll get brown rice, you know, I'll get all the healthy food, get the lean, I'll get everything healthy and like a little extra like sour cream, you know, a little cheese, like extra, extra cheese or whatever. So, but I'll have that for one meal and that would be my cheat meal. So it's like you're cheating from your regular diet, but it's really not unhealthy from what you're eating for, well, from the common, for all the food. Um, I try to stay away from fried foods, try to stay away from processed foods. I try to stay away from all that, even on my cheat day because, you know, I got goals. And I I know one meal is not going to hurt, but I try to not take myself as far off 
um as I should. So um just finished food. So um how much I lost? Okay. Drum roll please. Okay. So the first week I lost 8.2 pounds. Yes, you guys, I lost 8.2 pounds. And basically before I feel like I lost so much that week because that's the first week. Um before that I was eating fried food every day. Um I was eating, let's say I'll get something from Dunkin' Donuts or for breakfast. Um I don't know, lunch I'll go get I don't know. Just know that it was just unhealthy. I was eating out every day for multiple meals a day. So when I did decide to go on like the fit the focus journey, I was eating home cooked meals, I was working out, drinking a lot of water. So basically that's why I lost so much. So eight point two, but I'm not gonna discredit myself because I did work for those eight point two pounds. So I lost eight point two pounds my first week. My second week I lost three pounds. Uh, third week I lost three pounds and the fourth week I lost 0.4 pounds and when I lost the 4.4 pounds I was like wow like I feel like I worked harder than this I worked so hard but the things that I rather see point something than me gain weight or zero you know what I'm saying so I was still I was disappointed but I was still like you know okay whatever I'm gonna get over it and go harder next week um and for this whole month, the first focus during I lost 14.6 pounds. So 14.6 pounds in a month. That's pretty decent. If you know what I'm saying. You know what I'm saying. Turn up, turn up. Okay. So I lost 14.6 pounds. Um, so I have some like questions that, you know, people are like, let me ask me or like, you know, probably some areas, areas in their life on where they're struggling. So my first question is like how did I cope with being a college student and losing weight which includes parties drinking smoking going out to eat all that and stuff so parties um I feel like I mean I really don't go to a lot of parties but I do go to like a lot of events or kickbacks or whatever but I just keep my head focused I know what I can and cannot eat at the party if they have peace at the party or if they have you know if they're drinking first off I do not drink um I'm like, you know, religious, it says not in the Bible, in the Bible to not drink, as well as, uh, liquor is, <laughs> excuse me, liquor is so much calories, it's a lot of calories, so why would I do it to myself, and it's like, it doesn't even taste good, so it's like, why am I forcing something that doesn't taste good, that it goes against the Bible, and has a lot of calories, no, you guys can keep it. So, that's my feeling on drinking and liquor, but I'm not saying, oh, if you drink, it's bad, that's your own. You know, you do what you want, but for me, I do not drink. Smoking, uh, no, no, don't smoke. Um, going out to eat. So when I go out to eat, I feel like that's gonna be a, um the hardest that a lot of people struggle on going out to eat and seeing all your friends like eating like um chicken wings and basically all this unhealthy food. And for me personally, I love salads. Like I adore salads, especially with avocados. Oh my god, if you give me a salad with just avocados, I will go crazy in it. So basically when I go out personally, I get a salad and people are like, oh my god, Christy, you're getting a salad. But literally, I'm over here enjoying my salad. And it's like when you finish eating your your salad, you don't feel like, oh my god, I'm tired, like I can't do this. Like you feel like, okay, what's next? What can we do? Like I'm feel, you know, I'm 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 quenched, I'm satisfied, but I'm ready for the next um, event. So, but for example, if you go out to eat or whatever and you're having troubles with that, try to like schedule going out to eat with your friends on your cheat day. So it's like, that's your cheat meal if you want to do that. Or, you know, try to choose the healthier option. If it acts crispy or grilled, you know, obviously pick grilled or ask what they have in the food, you know, like do something, like just make a he healthier path for yourself, you know? Um... Yeah, so the next question is, what did I do to make my fitness journey easier? So what did I do is I um, basically, nay, basically just find somebody that is similar to you or has similar goals or similar determination with you. So basically, I have a fitness sister. Her name is, her name is Nay. Oh, excuse me. And basically, she's as crazy or even more crazier than I am with this whole fitness journey, everything. Like, she goes crazy. And it's nice to have her because it's like, okay... Whenever I feel like, you know, giving up, she's like, uh-uh, Crystal, like, get it together. Whenever she's like, mm, I'm like, nay, pick it up. You know, we encourage, we motivate each other, we keep each other on focus. And it's nice to, like, you know, talk to somebody who has similar goals with you, similar aspirations, and has as well the determination 
to do it with you. So basically, I would say find somebody that is on the same focus or same path as you. But though you may find somebody, don't say, okay, because Nay didn't go to the gym, I'm not going to go to the gym. Or because Nay's on vacation, I'm not going to do that. No, it's like, okay, though Nay's not going to the gym because, you know, let's say she just wants to work three days a week. I know my own goals. I'm okay. If Nay's not going, I'm still going to go because we have our own goals. Even though we branch off each other, I still have my own goals and I still have my own stuff that I want to accomplish. So it's like, though it's good to have somebody like with you with the process, but don't solely depend on them. Like, oh, since she's not going to the gym, I'm not going to the gym, you know? Go to the gym, or since she wants to eat chicken wings, I can eat chicken wings. Like, no, if she's doing a little mistake and she's not listening to you, you still have to account for yourself and you focus on what you have. Um, the next thing is make a focus journey. So, uh, focus, focus journey notebook, excuse me. So, like you see right here, basically put down all your motivations, like put all the stuff that inspires you to be better or, you know, so whenever you're feeling a little bit weary or you're like, you know what, I'm about to give up. I can't do this no more. Just look at this. Like when I see a person, I'm like, wow, these people, they really work. You know what I'm saying? Like, look at their bodies. They're amazing. You know, even look at me. I did it before. So even though it's hard right now, I know, okay, Crystal, you did it before. You can do it again. <clears throat> so make a journal, a journal or a collage of pictures or or do something, you know what I'm saying? Um, and all, and all for my fitness journey, I want to lose 30 to 50 pounds, and I give that big gap because I don't know, like I don't know how my body's gonna look at that time. So you know, I, I don't want to be extra, extra, extra small, but I don't want to be like big. So I want to be like you know, a little nice fit. You can see my abs, probably a little bit curvy. But that's how I want to be. So it depends on how that time. Maybe when I get closer to my goal, I can monitor the amount of weight that I want to lose. But from now, it's 30 to 50 pounds. Um, so what I'm just going to say for you guys is that if you guys are interested in losing weight, definitely contact me. Like, I want people to contact me. If you have any more questions, contact me. If you want to leave a comment on follow me. Oh, you guys should definitely follow me on Snapchat. Crystal underscore nwa let me print it again crystal underscore nwa i put all my fitness stuff on there all my meals everything everything about fitness goes on my snapchat so if you guys want motivation definitely follow me there but basically just know that know the reasons that you're doing know why you're doing it you know um yeah know why you're doing it or whatever and no so is this important to me like do I really want to do it for myself or do I want to do it just to impress somebody? Because if you're doing it just to impress somebody, you're not really going to go that far. And eventually when that person leaves, it's like you're probably going to gain the weight back if you're not doing it for yourself. So basically, do it for yourself. Know that like, okay, I'm tired of being where I am, so I have to do something. And it's like, though you may be tired, you, though you may speak, you have to think it. And because you think it, your actions have to change. You can't get a different result if you're still doing the same actions or you're thinking different like no you're not going to get any results so your actions definitely think differently and actions and you guys do it like you guys got it you know if i could do it you guys can do it and you guys probably like you know i don't like vegetables or this and the other like vegetables are good you guys get used to it it's good for your body like just try it i promise you it's not that bad or even season the vegetables you guys have it like you guys can definitely do it like it's possible this is possible you guys you can definitely do it and love yourself like you know what i'm saying like though you may not be at the point where you want in your life but just love yourself like this journey is all about finding out your strengths your weaknesses and it just make just for me it made me fall in love more with myself it's like i know i'm a strong person and you know i go through some stuff but like working out pushing myself doing stuff that i can't do like what like it just makes me know i am a strong person and i love my body and i love what it's going to achieve and what it's already achieving so definitely love yourself so you guys basically this video is for me and me and you guys as well me just so i can have record of like you know what i'm doing my for my first month and you guys so you guys can know what i'm doing and you if you guys can like you know put it into your own life and make it work for you guys so definitely do the stuff that I talked about in this video and you'll definitely see results and know that it is possible and you guys definitely have this. So stay blessed and have a great day.